Hi, I'm Jane. I'm course leader for the BA Dance degree here at Arts University Bournemouth. I'm just going to go through a short presentation to introduce you to key things to do with our course. The Arts University Bournemouth is um, a small and perfectly formed university and dance is quite a new degree here. It's been running for three years, so this summer in 2018 we saw our first graduating cohort um, and they're now starting to make their mark in the industry, so we're really proud of them. It means that because we're a new course, we've been able to, to really embrace everything about Arts University Bournemouth and the way the culture is uh, for making creative thinkers and really collaborating between courses. So as a small university, as you can see from the slide, um, it's got lots of things that it's really special for, particularly things such as the Gold Award in teaching, which means that the student feedback has really flagged up the worth of the teaching and the excellence in terms of how courses are delivered. Um, across the university, employability is really high. Obviously, for dance, that's something that we're still waiting to um, see a, a, a clear um, sort of graph in, as it were, because we've only got that first cohort who are just going out. Um, for us, actually, we're also really proud that in that first graduating cohort, our student feedback was really high uh, for the National, National Student Survey. So 93% um, of a success, as it were, in that just means that the course we set up in 2015 was really appreciated by the students and the relevant industry links that we set up within that course have obviously been accepted and, and they're able to use them now. So that's something we're really proud about. Um, Arts University as a whole, it's lovely in the fact that the name says exactly what it does and we always say that at audition. Um, everything on this campus is arts focused, so yes, all the separate courses are there doing their arts specialist areas, um, but the chance for collaboration is, is constant. Um, we have certain units within the degree, which I'll explain in a little while, that we actually have key links with other degree courses. So our students really feel they're part of a, a much wider arts culture. Um, the dance course is a small course. Uh, dance is a quite bespoke art form and the way we run it here um, is a little bit more individual as well. So there are never lots of dancers, but the dancers that we have are really open to collaboration and are really adaptable and um, love working across all the art forms. So I mentioned the graduating cohort and we felt we had to put this picture in because uh, we were lucky enough to be able to give an honorary degree to Dame Darcy Bustle this summer. So as my first group of degree students crossed the stage, we were also able to host um, Darcy at the ceremony who gave a really inspiring talk. Um, and as you can see from the quote, it's something that we're proud of that she saw the worth of our degree course in its early days. Um, and she really mentioned and, and went on about the fact of AB graduates being fearless. And I feel that's, that's all courses. That's not just dance. Um, but certainly in a dance sense, we really do try to get students to feel that they can experiment and that they can explore a wide range of possibilities rather than just finding one specific outcome. Um, the industry relevance comes from the team I'm lucky enough to lead. So our degree course is very contemporary focused. Um, it means that we're looking at all the other art forms, whether it's through theory or through practical, but our specific focus is contemporary. Um, however, the dance team itself is quite wide ranging in its sets of skills. So there are three uh, members of staff who work here full time um, and our range of practice covers, I think, all aspects of the dance industry. But the additional visiting tutors we have are all current artists working within the youth dance sector, community dance sector, um, working as producers for companies, um, actually having their fingers really sort of on the pulse to make a very current and industry relevant course. The list there on that slide just covers the range of things that we all feel we have the skills in and can therefore offer the students. And hopefully then that's the same set of skills that our students can feel they walk away with. Um, so obviously we're focusing on performance and choreography as the staff and for students. Um, small to mid-scale touring is, is something that, that is really key in terms of performance work and actually enabling our students to make work that has the capacity to work in small and mid-scale theatres. Um, education is key. I'll mention a little bit more about these specifics in the units in a minute. Community practice is something that all staff engage in. Technology and technical theatre, we have a specialist who works with us um, for digital dance. And actually that really inspires a lot of our students to develop their digital and creative links through technology throughout the second and third year. Um, and we talk about our students wanting, uh, wanting them to become a 
portfolio dance artist. So that really means a dance artist who has a range of skills, not just one skill, but a range of skills, meaning that their Monday may look very different than their Tuesday to their Wednesday. So they may be working in a school one day. They may be performing and producing work for a tour on a Tuesday. And on a Wednesday, they're working um, in a community dance setting with people with Parkinson's or dementia and, and considering dance and well-being. So a real cross section of what both the staff can offer and what hopefully then the staff can bring for the students to actually learn from. So these are the specifics of our units and I guess probably the most interesting one um, normally when you're considering whether this course is for you is level four for first year but I'm actually going to generalise um, and talk about level four, five and six and the threads through that we feel we have in place. So what you'll see between our three years is we have dance core, dance core one, dance core two and dance core three. They are the units that are sort of the spine line throughout the years of uh, dance technique. So there are classes. What we do here at um, Arts University Bournemouth is we have a, a degree in partnership with Pavilion Dance Southwest. Pavilion Dance Southwest is a national portfolio organisation. It's a regional dance agency. It covers the entire Southwest region. So actually, we've got quite a lot of units where we can really share with them the, the necessary skills. Dance Core for us is not a traditional um, ballet one day, jazz the next, contemporary the next. We work, as I said, in a really contemporary style. Um, and therefore, the members of staff who teach that dance core unit at the various stages throughout the three years really just bring their expertise to it. So we have a lot of staff who are very physical in a contact improvisation way, a lot of staff who work in a release way, some who are slightly more balletic in their background, but still teach a very contemporary class. Um, as part of dance core for all three years, we do Pilates with the students, we do yoga, we take them running, we do HIIT training. Um, we feel that stamina and endurance for what we're asking them to do choreographically and in a performance sense has to come from how we train them in dance core. So the dancer as the artist and the athlete is something we look at throughout dance core one, two and three. And if we've got it right, then that underpins what we're asking them to do elsewhere. <clears throat> so... First year has got choreography foundations in the first term and then it develops into choreography concepts. Choreography is huge throughout all three years. We're really interested in the students coming in and feeling they can experiment with ideas around a range of stimuluses um, and respond and rework what they already have done before, uh, be open to collaborative ideas, be open to working with other disciplines. Um, we keep them safe in, in first year. We keep them safe by thinking about choreography as a group and getting uh, braver with their movements and braver with each other. And then we push them quite quickly to explore, as I say, different stimulus work. So in the second term, choreographic concepts kicks in and is in response to a live sculpture park. So the students go out to the sculpture park, they see sculpture in its natural setting, they use it as a response for work, they come back to the studio, they explore that creative practice. And then it's put into a platform performance that we host at Pavilion Dance in their theatre called Springboard. Um, and also Springboard is something where we can host local schools and colleges with third years teaching material out there. So it can be a real community dance platform. Um, we have a theory unit throughout all three years as it's a degree course. Practice in Context is the theory unit for first year, which is the one I teach. Um, I feel for that unit, it's really important that we... Yes, respect dance history, but actually what we do to our students is bring them really up to date really quickly and make them aware of what the industry is doing at this moment in time. So we look at live work and they review live work um, at Pavilion Dance Southwest or other local theatres. They see that work, they comment on it, they start to understand the practitioners who are making work at the moment. And then we also look at the other companies that are Arts Council supported and funded and the way they're sharing their work. So ideally, by the end of that unit in first year, students are quite informed and have had their eyes opened to things they, they didn't know about the dance industry, which means that in second year, in dance, culture and society, we can push 
forwards a little bit more of the theory and the context behind dance as an art form. So we can look at much more specific things in terms of um, focus on cultural and social and economical and political focuses for dance. And then in third year, it goes into investigative study, which is um, basically a small dissertation unit. It's an extended essay for 5,000 words. But our hope is if we've got the course running smoothly by third year, both in investigative study and in other units, our third years know what they're interested in and what they want to write about, so we can support them in that. We have um, a unit in first year, Dance Industry 1, that progresses into Dance Industry 2 in second year. Both those units are, as the name suggests, more awareness about industry, so we're able to use our links with Pavilion Dance Southwest and bring in producers, directors, um, education and outreach workers to actually enable the students to understand what's happening on the organisational side of the dance industry rather than just the education. Um, it also enables first years to partake in a number of projects, so it's that unit where they do an intense digital project with an artist called Wayne Sables. And then in second year, Dance Industry 2 shifts to be that the dancers actually run an event. So we ask them to animate campus, um, which means that for a day, they bring the Arts University campus here in Bournemouth alive. Um, what they choose to do in that could be everything from um, contact improvisation jam, uh, which they open to other students to come and photograph or sketch. Um, it could be a silent disco that tours campus. It could be site-specific work um, in places where dance normally doesn't happen. But the whole idea behind that project is it's not just making the steps, it's about the event management, it's about risk assessing, it's about the health and safety, have they made everybody who's going to be impacted in that day aware? So actually we really asked them to start thinking about producing an event because that's very, very key. And again, we would expect that to be something they might choose to develop in third year. Um, what also happens, particularly in first year, is we're really holding the group close. Is we're obviously starting to push their performance work, starting to push the chance of them producing work in front of an audience. We really develop that quite intensively at the start of second year. Performance practice in level five is an intense unit which is running um, in the autumn term. We have a 10-week journey of making an original piece of dance theatre. So we begin in September with a concept and I direct it and I take a cast through a big, long, intensive journey to make an original piece of dance performance um, by week 10, which goes live into the theatre. The beauty of that unit is that it's also in collaboration with the costume and performance design degree here. So I have currently um, a level six designer who really has had to understand the creative project just the same as my dancers have around the theme, around the way that the uh, different individuals are being brought, as it were, alive through their ideas onto the stage. And also the chance to, to put the work into a theatrical setting with lighting. So lighting becomes much more than making the dance look pretty. It's very much about part of the choreography, changing the space changing the experience for the audience, which is something we talk to the students a lot about, is making work for specific audiences. Um, so performance practice is an intense project. It jumps into third year, level six, where currently the third years are making dance production pieces. And we have a scratch night event in January, which we call Launchpad. And our third years come to their start of, of third year with creative ideas themselves rather than directed by a member of staff and they make that work so it's sort of new and innovative and quite raw and then they put it to an audience in January and the audience gives them feedback. The reason we do that is it's exactly what the Arts Council does. So the Arts Council will ask for a sample of work and then if that work is successful and they want to fund it or support it, that work is then developed to another crit panel. So we feel it's really realistic our students go through that experience. Not all of them want to perform, but it's really important that they have an honest experience on their degree. And then um, we have other sort of particularly individual units. Level five, we have a unit called Dance Practitioner. Um, this is a unit I feel where we really start to see our students go quite individual in their responses. It's a unit where they get the chance to almost go on a placement um, alongside their other units. 
they have three options. One is that they work within a local um, secondary school that is really supportive of the arts and has a strong arts curriculum delivered there. And they go and they are part of the team that delivers GCSE dance um, and BTEC extended diploma dance and also for uh, general year nine dance. So it's really key that they go in and they've got a desire to learn to teach or that they've taught before. The difference is obviously they're working to a specific syllabus. So that's um, a big learning curve for them. The second option is community work. So um, we have in the past had students who've volunteered as part of the Dance and Parkinson's project at Pavilion Dance. This year, they're actually going to work with Pavilion Dance again in the older and perfect section. So dance for older people. And that brings with it a lot of understanding of well-being, as well as a group that will have the chance to work with adults, young adults with learning difficulties who work at a local theatre um, lighthouse in Poole. And the students will be able to work with those young people to enable them to explore some creative ideas. The third is to work with a dance company called Leela Dance. And one of the artistic directors, Carrie Whitaker, comes in and actually launches an idea that the company themselves are exploring at a very early stage and allows those interested in that pathway to work with her to explore initial ideas. So it may be movement, but it may also be design or soundscapes. So actually they get a really genuine chance to do what the company naturally does. Currently Leela Dance are touring a piece called The Hotel Experience. And The Hotel Experience was the brief given two years ago to second years to explore. So it's genuinely gone on the Arts Council pathway. It was explored by the company and by dancers here. And it's now in performance and is touring. So that's a, a really honest journey that AUB dancers have been part of. Um, and then... Our final unit in third year, Negotiated Project, ideally allows us to see everybody starting to have their individual mark in what they've done across all the range of units. So this last summer, we have seen that first third year cohort go through. We had 17 completely contrasting pieces of work. We had one student who explored uh, work with motion capture and uh, the body in the space, uh, creating ideally a dance where he duetted with himself. We had one student who really wanted to implement fitness training and working with martial artists, so she worked on that. We had another student who wanted to create a, um, a website that was about creating workshops and delivery and schemes of work for Parkinson's dance sessions. We had six students who worked together to produce an event and also took work out and inspired local young people to uh, create pieces of work for our dance platform Springboard. We had one student who was very interested uh, right the way through in photography and sketching and fine art. And her final piece was um, all about dancers moving in response to particular spaces and textures and using charcoal and using paint and powder. So a real mixture. And actually, that's where I feel happiest if we see that everybody's graduating with quite a different set of skills. That feels that we've we've been honest in what we've delivered. Um, just a, a simple list of not many things so far, but things we're proud of that have happened already, even though we've just had that first graduation um, ceremony. So student successes, um, that first one was the one I mentioned. This was Gina, who was uh, lucky enough to be awarded the Nicholas Durbridge Prize. Um, so she actually worked collaboratively with a BA architecture student in some of her exploration. Um, so when she was doing her final project of, of thinking about the body and space, so was an architecture student. So consequently, they actually collaborated together and really were able to share their practice and massively benefit each other. Um, we've got uh, one student who has linked with an acting student and a costume student, and they are in the early stages of making a, a small touring theatre company, which is really exciting. Um, we've got currently a student who is doing her teacher training uh, at a local school. This is the school actually where we placed her as a second year. And so she went out and she did that teaching unit in dance practitioner. And so when she applied to do a teacher training course there, they snapped her up. So she's actually at that school. And I really hope that's something we actually can progress for local students. Um, we have two students who have been lucky enough to gain placements within the pavilion dance team um, one as a technical side um, and actually she's working technically for us as well on our performance practice unit um, and another who's really embracing the um, event side 
And then we have another student who, for her final project, worked with Diverse City, which is the uh, group of young people that we will link again into Dance Practitioner for. Um, and Phoebe was offered employment with them because of the success of her final project. So we're really proud of all of those things. And I hope in years to come we have a lot longer list. Um, I've mentioned Pavilion Dance Southwest, and it's something that I would actually say, just have a look at their website. There's so much on there. That's where they really show everything they do. Um, I don't feel slides bring it to life. But Pavilion Dance absolutely says that they are dedicated to transforming communities through dance. So we have an organisation that looks after a region and the southwest region of this country is very rural and very spread out. And then right in the thick of it, we have a busy conurbation of Bournemouth and Poole. And this is where Pavilion Dance have got a, a venue. So they've got a bespoke dance venue with practical spaces um, and a theatre, all focused on dance performance and dance work. We're lucky enough to have um, three of the days of our week where we also use their spaces. So we have certain points where the students are on campus and are able to embrace everything AUB can offer. And then we have certain times where the students are able to be down there, which also enables them not just to rehearse there, but sometimes be going into the theatre because there's a, a tech get in for a company so they can see it firsthand. Um, Pavilion Dance as an organisation, beyond working with us on the degree, um, has the dance performances, has the live screenings, has exhibitions, and really importantly, has 40 community dance classes a week, open to anybody who wants to be doing them. Um, our students actually get a discount to do some of those classes. So if alongside their contemporary and choreography focused degree course, they also want to do Bollywood or parkour or tap or Irish, they absolutely can, which is a really lovely offer. Um, so we ask them if they feel they've got enough energy to to just go and do that and just dance for dance sake. That feels really important. Um, Pavilion Dance, as I said, lots of performances of renowned companies. This was the Summer Festival um, in 2018. Can Do Co, who are an able and disabled dance company, um, performed out in Bournemouth Square. And the right hand uh, image was of a beautiful piece based around folk dance. Can Do Co are um, actually a company that have, have done a lot of work with Pavilion Dance Southwest. The, um, just as an aside, our technical demonstrator here at AUB, who does all the lighting for us in our show project, um, Sam Barrett, is ex Canduco in terms of lighting design. So it's really lovely to have the relevance in our curriculum that comes from industry practice and specialisms too. And then these are just uh, images of their autumn season. So the troth has happened. The troth was linked into the centenary of World War One. It was a really powerful piece that they did on Remembrance Sunday. And the Wolf and Peter um, was a, a children's performance. So what Pavilion Dance does is really make work for all audiences. The, the Wolf and Peter was a fantastic piece. And a number of our students actually went to watch it and have reviewed it for me in practice in context. But it was just a retelling of another fairy tale, but completely focused to bring in an audience of five to eight year olds, which is something our students have got to think about as well. They can't just make work for themselves or for their parents, they need to be able to respond to what somebody who's never walked into a theatre actually needs as well. So the partnership with Pavilion Dance is ever developing, um, but it's a really valuable one. It's very rare. I think there's one other course in the country that actually has this industry conversation constantly happening to make sure the curriculum is live and current. Obviously, applying to us is, is, is key um, and how you do it. People always ask, you know, do we need to prepare a solo no we we don't want you to bring a solo um we don't feel that it is that relevant um because it's how you're moving now in a class sense if you're with us live at audition the way we would work is we will teach class and we will set a choreography task and then we'll have a one-to-one -one interview and actually all of those are really important but the interview is really key it's not just about can you dance beautifully it's about what else do you feel you want to explore we know we're um, really wanting to make individual dance artists. We want to make independent dance artists. So we need to know that you've got views and um, you're in a small group, maximum of about 15, which means you can't hide. So your views are really, really important um, if you're focusing on a project where you're event managing. So in dance industry too, your voice needs to be heard. You might have a you might have a role as a rehearsal director. You might have a role as a producer. So actually, you need to feel you can say what you need to say. Um, I think it's tricky because sometimes uh, people can't attend audition, 
And then there is obviously the issue that we do need to see you dance and sometimes people then record solos for us. All I can ask is perhaps it's not a solo that is something you've already made. It's more interesting to see you just move in a space because we would be asking you to do a class. So a range of different styles uh, or floor work and travelling and different things is much more interesting than a perfectly prepared solo that you've made for school or college. Um, auditions for us are normally between December and April, so we've actually got our first two auditions in December, um, and it's something that AUB connects and obviously sends all the details through to you about what's important and when your time slot would be. If it's something that you are sending across because it's um, online, then we would look at that and it would link into the same time frame. Um, the offer for us is obviously clearly there. Again, I'm under aware that international students will have a, a slightly different focus, but that's something that the international office can pick up and actually answer any questions on, probably far better than me. Um, I think it's, I hope I've made it clear that the key thing for us is our course is not about just asking a student to come in, learn lots of steps from lots of teachers, reproduce them and tick a box. It's much more about really coming into a laboratory and being prepared to experiment with movement, being prepared to change the way you thought about movement, um, be prepared to explore and be really physically committed um, to trying out new ideas. So sometimes it's artistic and creative that we're asking you to think anew with. Sometimes it's really physical and the body feels it. It's, it's, a, it's a hard course at times. It's bruised and battered. A lot of the students would tell you that's the thing. Um, but I just feel it's the partnership with Pavilion Dance is quite key. We have something that we are hoping makes a really relevant dance industry specialist for the future. The dance industry has massively changed in the last 10, 20 years. We now need to make artists who are adaptable, who are able to go into a range of different sections, working with a range of different people of all ages. Um, and that's, that's key. That's something that we really feel we want to produce. So as our graduates and our graduating years increase, my hope is that dance artists who say they trained at AUB Dance are not afraid of trying to push out the boundaries. Um, after me signing off, there is a short film of just a little bit of what we do, but any questions that uh, anybody might have from, from my presentation, get in touch with Arts University Bournemouth, particularly the international team or admissions, and hopefully we can answer any questions you might have. Thank you. <laughs>